Hello, Mrs H here. This video will teach you what you need to know about the eye for GCSE. If you would like supporting sheets and extra questions, check out biologybreakdown.co.uk. The eye is a sense organ that is able to respond to light, which is converted into electrical impulses that travel along the optic nerve to the brain. Looking at the eye from the front, we can see the iris, which controls the size of the pupil. The pupil allows light into the eye and the white of the eye is called the sclera. If we look inside the eye, we can see many more structures. This is what the iris and pupil look like from the side view. You can see clearly that the pupil is the hole that allows light to pass into the eye. The sclera is the tough white outer layer of the whole eyeball and at the front of the eye the sclera is continuous with the cornea which is transparent so refracts light into the eye. Light passes through the pupil and then is refracted further through the lens towards the back of the eye where the retina is. The retina contains receptor cells that convert the light energy into electrical impulses. The fovea is a dip in the retina that is densely packed with receptors and is responsible for producing the greatest visual resolution or acuity. Therefore, it is essential that light falls onto this part of the retina for us to be able to see in good detail. There is no retina over this part where the optic nerve leaves the eye. Because there is no retina here, this is called the blind spot. Any light falling on this part of the eye will not be part of an image that we can see. Google cross and dot blind spot activity, it's really fun. These are suspensory ligaments that are attached to the lens with the ciliary muscles. They control the thickness of the lens and therefore the degree at which the light is refracted and you have a fluid called aqueous humor that is found inside the eyeball. Our lens changes shape when looking at near and distant objects. This change in shape is a reflex action and is called the accommodation reflex. When looking at distant objects, the lens is thinner and the light is refracted less. And when looking at nearby objects, the lens will be fatter and the light refracted more. Notice that the light is refracted so that the rays converge to a focus point exactly on the fovea. How does the lens become thinner and fatter? The lens is attached to the ciliary muscle by the suspensory ligaments. When looking at nearby objects, the ciliary muscle contracts, which allows the suspensory ligaments to slacken. This causes the lens to bulge, so the light passing through is refracted more. When we look at distant objects, the opposite happens. The ciliary muscles relax and the suspensory ligaments pull tight. This causes the lens to go thin and therefore refracts light less or by a smaller amount. You can see here that the light rays converge to a focus after they get to the fovea. This will result in blurred vision and if this is happening then the person is said to be long sighted as they have the inability to focus on near objects. This is known as hyperopia. The cause of this might be that the lens is the wrong shape or the eyeball is too short. To correct this problem, a convex lens is used so that light is refracted inwards a little bit before it enters the eye and then the light rays can focus on the fovea of the retina. If the light rays converge to a focus too soon, before they get to the fovea, this will also result in blurred vision. This person is said to be short-sighted as they can focus on close objects well, but can't focus on distant objects. This is known as myopia or short-sightedness. 
This might occur if the lens is the wrong shape and refracts the light too much, or the eyeball is too long. A concave lens is used to refract light rays slightly outward, so diverge, before they enter the eye to counteract the overfocusing tendency. Another important function of the eye is the control of the amount of light that enters it. It is the iris that controls how much light enters the eye through the pupil. It's a reflex action, meaning that it doesn't require the involvement of the conscious part of the brain. The reflex is automatic. I'm sure we all know that a pupil decreases in size in bright light. We say the pupil is constricted. In dim light, the pupil is dilated. It is the circular and radial muscles of the iris that control the size of the pupil. In bright light, the circular muscles contract and the radial muscles relax. You can see that the circular muscles have got tighter and the radial ones longer. The muscles work in opposite ways. When one contracts, the other relaxes and vice versa. In dim light, the circular muscles relax and the radial muscles contract. You can see as the radial muscles contract, they pull the iris open more. Not all examples require you to know the details of the radial and circular muscles, so do check your specification. Okay, let's practice an exam question. The diagrams show how light is focused in people with different vision defects. Name the vision defect in each person. Well, in person A, the light rays converge too soon to a focus point. So this person is short-sighted or has myopia. And in person B, the rays converge behind the retina. So this person is long-sighted or has hyperopia. Next part, identify the type of corrective lens needed by person A and B and explain how the lenses work. Well, person A will need glasses with a concave lens so that light rays diverge slightly outwards before they enter the eye. And person B will need convex lenses in their glasses so that the light rays refract inwards or converge slightly before they enter the eye. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content. And if you would like supporting sheets and more questions on this topic area and others, check out biologybreakdown.co.uk.